Hey guys, Michelle with Michelle Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. I'm so glad that um, you guys are still with me <laughs> for this um, Golden Book series. This one for this week is that we are keeping still the golden spine, but we're expanding it with some fabric. And this is basically the final walkthrough. I was able to get it all done and I'm like so excited. Um, hopefully my niece loves it as much as I loved making it. So I want to share with you all the finishing touches. Obviously, I left a ton of room for her to um, still add some of her own stuff to it. Um, so let's dive in. So the front, as you can see, we have the button closure here. I added some um, beads to the bottom of the, the dangle. I really felt like I needed something because this, um, r this twine, I forgot what I called it. Um, it's a little bit looser. I mean, not looser, sorry, thinner <laughs> than the one I used for the unicorn book. And then, um, we have here all the dangles that we made recently. And I pretty much just, um, shortened the, um, length. So therefore want it standing upright it doesn't um, go all the way to the bottom and then you can kind of see how it looks so it's really cute i really really like it so now when we open up the book um i really love how it all came together um it really i don't know i just really love it um so here i created some ephemera um i went through google search and just looked for anything taylor swift and i found these cute um tickets like if you're going to her concert and so i just printed out some and then cut them down to size and they kind of live right here in the front um, so she can add more stuff as she wants and then i have the um the ribbon that i selected and then i stitched everything now what i did differently in this book which i regret afterwards was that i didn't stitch before i did the other side and so for my own purpose <laughs> i went through um the collection that i had which i had washi tape and i actually went to all the pages and added washi tape down the side to cover up those stitching do you have to do that? No, I just chose to do it because I felt like anything could snag on it and this prevents that from happening along with the fact that um, it stays intact. Um, it can be removed if she doesn't like it, but I had to do that afterwards when I should have not done that and yeah. So anyways, you'll see some of them have that down the middle. I mean, not the middle, on the sides and that's mainly to um, cover up and secure the stitching that I added on the uh, cute ribbon. So here I created some pockets. Um, I did put whatever inserts that I had, as you can see from the collection. I did go through um, my big giant uh, playing cards and I found some tags that I wanted to create. These tags are from the Elizabeth Craft Design um, tag set and then I just went through all the ephemera and I created this I think this is a four by four and I wrapped it around and made it as a pocket and then on the other side created another pocket enclosure with another I think this is what like a three by four cut apart and then I put a little <laughs> strawberry sticker on the bottom and then it just lives here so definitely created what I could with it um I did go on the music pages that I added in here and use some washi tape to just secure it um, because this is not going to be sewn into the book I just wanted to have more security you know she's she's 10 <laughs> so I don't know how much manhandling she will have with it but I definitely wanted to make sure that it had that strength so you will see the washi tape on the back and on the inside to give it that now I did add some of the fabric that was on the spine um, onto some of the pages. Um, I did want to leave that 13 visible because that was the purpose of why I chose this page. And then again, as you can see, I added some washi tape again. I wanted to use whatever washi tape was in that collection. And so I did have the entire collection, so I used all of them 
randomly um, to offset the stuff. And then again, I went through Google search and I found whatever Taylor Swift um, images that I thought would be kind of cool for the book. And pretty much, you know, she can put stuff behind here if she wanted as a pocket or just leave it as such. And then you just keep doing that all the way through. All right, so then we went uh, again <laughs> and I just again went through and did as much as I could in regards to changing up the different um, ribbon and the twine that I use. I wanted to keep everything consistent with the same um, uh, sewing thread and that was the red that I chose. And as you can see, some things were left blank. Um, and then here is that page and then I added these little um, covers that I found off of again Google search of all Taylor Swift's um, uh, album covers. Um, it's a little uh, unclear because of the way that I screenshot it. <laughs> um, again, this is not to be for the purpose of selling this album, it's merely to give it as a gift. So I'm not really concerned. It's mainly the principle of it. And then I did a little tuck pot spot here. So I only glued it on two sides to give it that little um, folder style option. And then I found these cute cassette tapes, which are the same concept as the album names. And I thought it was kind of cute. So I made it as like a tuck spot again, um, so she can add something there. And then um, if you saw one of my recent videos of <laughs> trying to attempt to make bookmarks, I really think that was a total fail, but um, the kids liked it and that was the only purpose behind it. I had some extra leftover printouts, so I used them here as more of like a tab movement. Um, and then here's another one, more of a filler page. And again, it's left open so she can do what she wants, either leave it as such or put something behind it. I did use a border punch here on the side to give it some change of not always being ribbon and the same thing here i then moved my um, image off instead of always to the left corner even on the inside of the page now it's on the inside and again you have a little tuck spot so we're still on the first signature <laughs> and then here are the pages of the first part of the book all in correct order I went through some of my background stamps and I found this cute one that I thought was kind of neat, something different where she can just put whatever she wants on the back end. But I just have it here in the front pocket. The back pocket is left open for her to do something with. And then again, you have the mirror kind of concept as we just saw in the first half of the signature. So again, she can put something here where I only did two sides being um, glued down. The same thing here with the side using the border punch and then we have a different uh google search print <laughs> this was all her um i think uh album covers that she had and so i just put um that there again it's more of a tuck spot i found these cool cassette tapes uh sides that you know us I don't want to say old because we're not old but you know back in the day when cassettes were popular <laughs> I thought this was kind of neat very retro in my perspective and again I did make it as a tuck spot too um, which you'll see this in the third signature I just thought it was so cool I kind of like kept using it um, but didn't overly do it here is another cassette tape with a different album and then on the other side, so I kind of like mirrored them together. So you have the Speak Now, which has the full album, her color concepts, and I guess the names of all the songs in there. And then you have the cassette tape version of it as well and with the colors. So I thought that was kind of cool when I found both options and I used them throughout the whole album as ephemera. And then again, from the collection that I used from Simple Stories, um, I put those there. And again, I just kind of did the same concept all the way around. Um, I had those big giant red buttons and I really wanted to incorporate one of them and this I kind of used because you'll see on the other side <laughs> what I did with the the swatch of um, the fabric so I really wanted to emphasize just the strawberry so what I did was I just took my sewing machine and I kind of went around in circles after circles after circles. So it was kind of fun, but then I realized, how am I going to cover that up? So that's when I decided to do the um, 
button here and then I had one of these cut aparts left and I just put it on top so that was kind of fun so I did that and then we just go through all of this again um, and then at the back end we have some other pockets as well and then I covered it up with um, the washi tape and then we get to the second signature so in the second signature I have a, another little pocket here um, which I believe I already shared this with you guys, but this is where we just have all the embellishments. So I have a little cut apart, which is from the collection. So I really liked how cute that little bee was. Um, and then again, different lace here off to the side with the red um, sewing. And then we have a different side pocket. So I kind of wanted to mix it up. I used a different washi tape off to the side. And then we had this cute bingo card. So I kind of wanted to contrast the colors. And then um, we have this cut apart, which had the flap. So I was a little figuring out how am I gonna incorporate this? So I had to make sure very carefully that I sewed it with it open. Um, and then when I sewed it on the inside, you have the washi tape covering it. So that's really what I did. I mean, it kind of blends in. Um, I mean, you could tell it's different, but it sort of blends in. And then we have the red album here. And again, we have the little um, same kind of concept. So again, it's it's going to be repetitious to some degree in regards to what I did in one, I'm going to do in the other. And I feel like that kind of helps when building these things up. And again, I use the same kind of background, but on a green card and I had leftover scraps. But you can actually put something in here. You're supposed to, unless it got glued. Oh, there we go. So you can definitely put it down. And I thought it was kind of cool where it says year to date. Um, and then I, I used um, the leftover remnants I had and kind of made a pocket here with the uh, ruler, which I thought was really neat. So I did that. Here is all flat lay. That's the way the paper was designed. And then here I used, again, um, using a one inch circle punch and just punched it out and it's kind of like a little pull tab but something different and then here is another printout the same kind of um, trim a uh, hole punch trim that I used here that I did on the green and again we kind of do the same concept so on the green I had it at the bottom I moved it to the top and you have a flap now what happened was my printer was giving me problems <laughs> and so that's why you see this on the other side but really it needs to be covered but the whole purpose was for her to be on the front and center and then we have this then we have the second part of the album of the, the book itself now on a deck of cards you don't have the number one so ace to me is utilized as the one so i did this as 13 um, and then again, I just use whatever ephemera pieces I had. This I used as a little tuck spot, or it could be left as is. And then on the back, this fit perfectly over the back of the card. And I thought it, it blended really nice. And then this one here as being the one, I actually used that ephemera piece as a tuck spot. So I did a little tag and just cut it out so it fit. And then on the back, I kind of used whatever remnants I had left over and kind of made this cute little, um, I don't know, hodgepodge, I guess is the right way to use it. But um, I left the stuff hanging out because since it's going to be in a pocket, it really is not going to matter as much. But I really like the whole concept of the overlay and it really wasn't that much to just put two pieces. Um, but sometimes when you look at things, you're just like, how do I make this? And then this is going to work. So sometimes you just got to like just do it and then you'll be surprised yourself. So the back I left open for her to add stuff kind of like I did in the first one. And then again, here we're now on the back end having the same kind of concept. I didn't have anything on this one because the paper was good. Um, this actually has a flip up instead of down this time. This one I thought it would be kind of cool to put a little tuck spot going up. But this one has the album with the cassette on the other side. So you have a little tuck spot going up. And then here is another kind of concept with a pocket where I'm only gluing um, the two sides. Here is another pocket like on the front. Um, so she can add something there. And then again, here are those leftover uh, pieces I had for the bookmarks. <laughs> and then you have the back end of that where I put the washi tape on top. 
you have another pocket here where she can add stuff and then we're done with the second signature so here we're on the third signature and then here you have another little um uh, guest check to go inside of the library card pocket I wanted to make them all different didn't want to do them exactly like her sister because I want to have um, separation because um, they were both different concepts as to what I wanted to execute and her sister's is the unicorn one so here is what I was referring to that I did in the first um, signature where this is actually a pocket and I really really fell in love with this so basically what I did um, as you can see they, they duplicate um, I kind of took the imagery that it was and then in my program that I use I'm not sure if it was word or silhouette but then I just attached them one on top of the other and then printed them out twice because you're gonna see I'll just go there you're gonna see on the other side you have the same thing as well so they both have um, the same pocket on both sides which I think is pretty cool so you just yeah I mean that's just neat I don't know um and then you have again the same kind of concepts so this one i did use a different washi tape that was thick enough so so that it's not the exact same as the first signature and here you have the same thing where you can put something behind it if you wanted and then go forward so we have a different album and again a little tuck spot this one has a bingo card but again the cassette for the same album and then here we go with that this one's different. We went this way with a flip instead of going down or up. I tried to make them all different, but it's sometimes kind of hard because um, you're not sure which way you want it to go. And then with the blue, like I did with the red and the green, I used the same uh, trim punch. This one was kind of cool. And instead of taping it down completely, I decided to use the washi tape. Again, doing something a little bit different just in case. <laughs> Um, and then this one here, you have the bookmarks at the bottom um, that are more of a page turner. And then we have the, the end of the book. Um, and then this one I chose was 22, which is one of her song titles. And then I kind of just did something just random. Um, this one has a tuck spot that you would go inside. And this one is completely um, glued on top. And again, the strawberries kind of go with the concept of the collection itself. And then this one, I believe all of this, no, it's not. This one is not all glued down. I believe it's just this portion that's glued down. So you can definitely put a tuck spot there. And then this one, I already have a tag as a tuck spot. So it can go there as well. And then it just lives here. She can move them around, obviously, wherever she wants because it's her album. And then back here, I left it open for her. And then this one I kind of had a lot of fun with. It was actually one of the last minute things where I'm like, okay, I have all these extra pieces and I don't know where to put them. So basically what I did was I had exactly four, which was perfect. And I just used the washi tape and just randomly placed them, which she can take them off if she wants to. She can move them wherever she wants to. She could do whatever she wants to do with them. That's the beauty of washi tape. It's really hopefully not supposed to ruin the paper underneath. And then again, you have the trim work. You have this one flapping the other direction. So again, I had the flap in the first, so I'm gonna have the flap at the back. Do you have to do that? No, it's just my way of my brain function. <laughs> it's just the way I like doing it. I like having the consistency and trying to keep it consistent is also key. Um, and also helps, so if you do one with one thing, then you're like, oh, then I'll do the other side. So then you already have the two pages already done. But it's when you don't find it working, that's where I get stuck. <laughs> so I don't know if anyone else is like that, but. Um, and then again, here we have the flap. Here I decided to put the little cassette at the bottom with the tuck spot down here. And then when you turn the page, you have the tuck spot at the top. So you have one at the bottom, one at the top. And then you have that there and then here i had an extra one i think this was the last one left and i'm like what am i supposed to do with it so i put it on off to the side now you will see the washi tape here at the bottom which was kind of hidden underneath it and that's because i decided to put my fabric right smack in the middle under juanita why not um and then 22 is just like the um 
the story, not the story, her song 22. So um, I kind of just, again, kept the whole signature consistent if I could, which luckily I was. And then I already showed you this back part, which is of um, another pocket for her to put stuff in. And then that brings me to the end. So that kind of concludes um, <laughs> the construction and the, the finish uh, series for this week. So hopefully you guys had a lot of fun making this. If you did, um, definitely let me know because I'm really curious to know um, what album you used, um, if you used a golden book or a different type of book. And if everything I shared with you helped you in any way, I really love feedback, good or bad. Um, but if it's bad, please be kind because <laughs> we are. Um, but anyways, I hope to be back next week um, on Monday with a different type of golden book option. Um, next week, I will be not sure if I'll be using um, the We Are Memory Keepers or We Are Keepers um, cinch binding tool or thermo cinch. I'm not sure which one I will be using, um, but that is going to kind of be my next segment in going a different route. Um, so definitely there is, like I said, since day one, there's so many different ways to make these things and I'm just having so much fun trying to figure out which one I like the best. So I really feel something like this is really good for um, someone who likes flexibility, someone who probably is also a child where you can teach them how to do different things and they're not stuck with one thing or they can move things around. Um, I really think there is, um, more I don't know I, I I don't I'm still torn I really like both ways to be honest um one way might be quicker than the other um but we'll see what the next week brings because I might change my mind <laughs> so anyways thank you guys for hanging out with me I really hope you had a good fun week um in whatever you were doing and I do appreciate you guys immensely um, definitely like this video or all the videos you've been watching if you really like the content it really helps me know what you guys want to see and what you guys like seeing um, and definitely subscribe because I really want you back for another video and if you are a subscriber make sure your notifications are turned on so you'll be notified when a new video comes out and that's enough of my admin stuff so thankfully it was at the end of the video <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one you guys take care have a good one and be you.